I think Irv's very emotional. He didn't always put business as a priority. She's never gonna say she was in love with me. She's never gonna say we was together. We was together. See my days are cold without you. But I'm hurt. Those eyes she wasn't responsible for my divorce. I could give you three other chicks that was. I was been separated. She's never gonna say she was in love with me. She's never gonna say we was together. Guess who snagged a spot in the Guinness Book like it was no big deal? It's our girl Ashanti, clinching the title for fastest selling female debut artist. But her producer was more interested in, um, a bubble bath rendezvous than her chart topping tunes. I've been in a crazy situation with one producer. We did two records together. He was like, okay, you can, you know, I'm not gonna charge you, you know, you my homie, whatever, whatever. And then when it came time to put on the album, he was like, well, let's take a shower together. How do these talented ladies navigate the tricky waters of a scene that still, let's be honest, a boys club at heart. Stay tuned as we unpack the drama, the triumphs, and yes, the awkward bath proposals. Ashanti Shakoya Douglas was born on October 13, 1980 in Glen Cove, New York. Her mother, Tina Douglas, an African-American dance teacher, named her daughter after the Ashanti people of Ghana. Her father, Kincaid Thomas Douglas, was a former singer, and she was the eldest of the family. She had a younger sister named Kanisha Shia Douglas. Her grandfather, James, was a civil rights activist who worked with Martin Luther King Jr. in the 1960s. She started singing at age three, joining the church choir. Her mother helped her enroll in a dance school, and she wrote songs, poetry, and stories while studying at high school. Her talent was not limited to singing. She was a track star at her high school and set a new record for the triple jump. She was offered an athletic scholarship at Hampton University, but Ashanti chose to pursue music. Ashanti's talent was discovered as a teenager by Irv Gotti of Murder, Inc. record label, and her self-titled debut album, Ashanti, was released in April 2002. Where have you been? It debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200 Albums chart. The album has sold six million copies worldwide, but the journey to the top was harrowing, and her talent was sometimes overlooked because producers saw her beauty before the talent. Can you believe it? Y'all won't believe this juicy tidbit Ashanti exposed during an interview. Picture this. A producer, out of the blue, hits her with the wildest proposition, asking her to join him for a bath. And when our queen firmly says, nah, guess what? Bam, a bill lands in her lap. And oh, the amount? It's the kind of money that makes you want to check if your bank app is glitching. Check out what our homegirl had to say. Who do you think she was talking about, guys? Well, and I thought he was joking. Together. Like, I thought he was joking. And then he's like, nah, I'm dead serious. Like, you know, let's go out and let's take a shower together and I'll give you the records. If not, I need 40 racks per Jesus. record. And I was like, again, I thought he was joking. Because we had been working with each other for like a couple of weeks. Ashanti spills the beans. But luck was on my side because I got these scary big bros. She reveals during an interview. And just like a scene from a drama, the producer flips from creepy to apologetic throwing in not one, not two, but three free records to make amends. Ashanti managed to snag two, all mixed and mastered without spending a dime. Why? Because she had her squad, her reinforcements ready to roll. But here's where it gets real. What about the up-and-comers, the dreamers without a big bro brigade? The one stepping into the spotlight, hoping for a fair chance, only to face the music in a not-so-melodic way. Makes you wonder, huh? Have you caught wind of the decades-old drama that's still sizzling hot on social media? We're talking about the epic fallout between record label boss Irv Gotti and the sensational Ashanti. Irv's focus on Ashanti was interfering with Murder, Inc. business. Like, if we're in London and we have a show, why is Irv here? Like, Irv should be back in New York in the office and facilitating, you know, all his other artists' albums. Like, he was coming on the road with us. So he was just, like, popping up everywhere. I'm like, you're popping out of the suitcase. Like, I'm... <laughs> I look up and you're popping out the suitcase. I'm like, Irv is in London. What the hell is going on? It was confusing. It's like, where's your focus? So it just started becoming more and more and more volatile. Even though it's been almost 20 years, 
Ashanti, our queen, has stood her ground, saying Irv Gotti was all about the emotional roller coaster life, throwing her under the bus way back when she was just starting out. And Irv, oh, he's been busy stirring the pot online, reminiscing about that one time he scored a kiss from the singer on a ride home from the studio. Of course there's more. Dude went full TMI, claiming they went all the way. Every day, we together. Every day for like two years, except the day she's with Nelly. At the time right. it happens, any man is hurt. Yeah. The chick you are in love with is with this nigga. You want to hear how I found out? This is God wanted me to find out. I was at home. NBA package. I like watching sports. Oh my God, what's this commotion going on in the stadium? We just found out what the commotion is. Nelly has walked in with the Shanti. Can you even? The audacity, the claims, the drama. What's next in this never-ending soap opera of the music world? I definitely feel like manipulation played a heavy part into um, me and Irv's situation, mm -hmm. you know? Um, he would say stuff like, no one wants to record with you. Nobody, you know, nobody really likes you. He would say stuff like, you know, we're going to keep it in the family. It's in-house. And on one hand, he would make it feel like family, family, family. And on the other hand, he would tell me, you're not going to get beats from nobody. Nobody's going to give you shit. You know what I mean? And um, it was hard because that gullible little Susie, I, why? How come? But they, I don't even know them. Why they don't like me? You know what I'm saying? Mm. And... um growing and becoming a woman and more mature then you start to reflect on on certain things and it's like oh that's what was going on clearly the man's not on ashanti's christmas list anymore if you catch my drift what happened to bros before well you know and all that jazz from soulmates to foes their relationship is taking a nosedive into the deep end of the drama pool okay yeah me and nelly were dating irv was salty Irv would not let me come to the studio to record. Irv was telling everyone not to record with me. Why do I want to stay in that situation? How can I stay in that situation? Mm -hmm. You know what he said to me? What? He said, nah, you want to be with Nelly? Go sign a dirty A&T. We don't want you. Why is Irv acting like he's auditioning for a reality TV show, spilling secrets and stirring the pot? Could it be a desperate grab for relevancy, or is there more to this tale of lost love and burnt bridges? One thing's for sure, whatever they had is now ancient history, buried under a mountain of shade and side eyes. He called out Ashanti. Take a listen. Artists have a way of getting money, doing shows. Ashanti makes a lot of money doing shows. So what's left for the guy who was the record label who helped make the records? I make money out of this no. is the masters. Right, right. So how am I supposed to feel when you want to remove that aspect? You really basically saying you don't want Sonny, JJ, and Angie, my beautiful kids. You don't want them to eat. He was referring to a request for song stems from her old records. Irv refused with a flat out. Let me just give you the answer now. No. <laughs> it's a shame, though. Did you hear the latest? Ashanti is expecting her first bundle of joy with none other than her boo, Nelly. So here's the scoop. During Nelly's swanky black and white ball in St. Louis, Ashanti, being all kinds of fabulous on stage, casually drops a hand on her stomach. And Nelly, he mirrors her move. Check it out, guys. Okay. But I want everybody, especially the women, I want y'all to say, seal the deal. Talk about a synchronized love dance that had everyone buzzing. These two have been riding a roller coaster of romance since 2003, hitting pause in 2013, and then bam, early 2023, they're back on and stronger than ever. Ashanti, ever the queen of making a statement, rocks up to an event clutching a bag plastered with a throwback photo of her and Nelly. Talk about wearing your heart on your bag. And when the interviewer went fishing for some confirmation, Ashanti hits us with a casual, yeah, sealing the deal on those reunion rumors. You guys are back together? Are we talking? Sorry, are we talking? I mean, you're wearing them on your bag. I'm like, wait a second. I mean, yeah. <laughs> While Nelly's already got a couple of kiddos, this is Ashanti's first dive into mommyhood. Can you even handle the cuteness that's about to unfold? But luckily for both of them, they have come together again and are looking towards a life together. Ashanti did live up to her mother's expectation of women's power. She is not afraid to voice her views on sexuality and choices as a woman. 
Oh, and did you notice that her mama has been very protective of her daughter? Who can blame her? Though, after all she's had to endure over the years in the male-dominated music industry, Ashanti's mom is also very beautiful, so we can also see where Ashanti got her gorgeous, youthful looks from. Absolutely. Um, we just have an amazing relationship. We're best friends. You know, it's not like a dictatorship. She's still mom. You know, she'll still tell me to clean up. But um, I communicate. Know. I don't dictate. Well, Ashanti loves the sun, sea, and bikini. You can just see how much by her pictures on Instagram from her birthday bash by the sea. It was not the first time she voiced her concerns about women's rights. Once, during an interview with Steve Harvey, she spoke out about male dominance in music. Ashanti wanted women to learn from her experience and believe in their abilities. You know, you know, I feel like sometimes women feel less than, or they feel like we can't do it, or we won't be taken serious. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I hope that people take away from my learning and my experience and what I'm doing that, listen, I can control my destiny. I'm smart enough. I'm going to study. I'm going to be a boss. I'm going to own everything and anything that I do. You right. know what I mean? And, right. and keep pushing. Yeah. This queen isn't just slaying the music charts. She's also all about that clean living life. With the world stuffed with processed snacks, gluten bombs, and those sneaky GMOs lurking around, Ashanti's here sipping her juice like it's her job and detoxing like a pro. She's dropping major truth bombs about keeping tabs on what we're loading our bodies with. All right now. And guess what? At 43, Ashanti is living her best life, cozying up with her main squeeze, Nelly. Talk about relationship goals. Plus, with a cool five mil in the bank, she's laughing all the way to the health food store. What is your favorite song or memorable moment of Ashanti over the years? How do you feel about how Irv Gotti has treated her over the years? Comment down below.